Hey Video Diary, so this is the job that we've been doing. We replaced this floor and to save money we're reusing these cabinet shells and I'm gonna do the least crappy paint job a person can do. I'm a very good painter but I'll do my best and this will be our new kitchen. Um, yeah, some people have said, oh, this must be particularly hard for you right now that your house is in, um, upheaval, but it's, it's not been that way. Maybe it's the, uh, the novelty of some, you know, just something else going on, something different going on that... is keeping me in a good way off brooding, you know, brooding too much about Forrest. It's hard to say his name sometimes. Let me get him. So, I wish I didn't feel so angry at you. It's not like I was a better person in my life, really. I made enough mistakes. I don't know why. Why am I so angry at you? Maybe because we both tried so hard to make it not end up this way. And uh, it feels like you had the power to choose or not choose. I'm upset that you threw so much away. I walk down the street and I think like I'm gonna see things that you should have been seeing. And long after I was gone, it just feels like it ends with me somehow. I play the guitar, you know, some of the connection of the, of the martial arts, the guitar, the philosophies. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm just upset that you threw that away. For drugs. Specifically heroin, I guess. That one is just so disgusting to me for some reason. And and I don't know why it always has been. So it's like extra 
shameful somehow that my favorite person died this way. It's not that you're my favorite person. I have other favorite people, I guess. It's not, yeah, so it's not one ultimate person, but the closest thing to, like, another self. You know, like a generational thing that is inexplicably profound. Just um, taken away. I got to places before where I could accept it, you know, like that there's no assurances, there's, you know, I should not be suffering about things I can't and couldn't control. And, um... I will look in to that more in a deeper way, I guess. But in the meantime, this sucks. And you suck for doing it. didn't notice because I would have stopped you if I could or at least try to change your mind your dead face is what I see and it's you're squeezing your eyes shut and you're like an ashen gray color. You're not in there anymore, but it's like you're, you imploded. And left your shell. I guess it's a trust thing, you know. You 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 want to be able to trust I want Ted. I thought I did. I guess that's the thing, like, you, you, you led me to believe that you were doing so well, that you were doing so well. And why? Why? Why bother? Just, just tell me. I guess I'm not, you know, I'm not ashamed of you having a drug problem. It's about hiding it doing it more, dying from it, you know, just... Your sister, your mom, my mom, my wife, the cat, a hundred other people, you know, like, what the fuck? But my life, my interior life, is really... I want to say it's ruined. I don't know if it is or not. My interior is, is, uh, God, what is the word? <sighs> yeah, heartbroken. I don't know. Like crushed. 
I don't know. Those are good words, but they're just words. I tried to teach you the best I could, you know, like not bullshit you and encourage you. I'm definitely a proselytizer, but also listen. I'm going to get rid of my email because I keep checking it. So stupid. Thinking I'm going to get an email. And when my phone rings, I don't care because I know it's not you. And I haven't been able to shake this yet. I will. Or maybe I won't. <sighs> so this is my video diary. So that I can look back. If I want to. And maybe other people can. Uh, uh, particularly, I guess, other people like you. Who are... Uh, You know, trying to see, seek self-actualization and enjoyment or a vacation or escape or whatever it is, whatever it is through heroin. It's like, it's such bullshit. I was supposed to entertain people. I have, uh, you know, and and I think about the person I used to be, and I think I come up with sometimes these gags, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm the only one who's suffering from that. Like the world doesn't, you know, gonna, it's not gonna make a big difference. I guess that's the thing. It's like nothing matters except what you say matters. I'm upset that that I didn't figure into the equation at all. And maybe that's the way the drug makes you makes you operate. So yeah, so that's what this video diary maybe maybe can do is offer a little window into how shitty your father will feel. I really feel bad for the other fathers I've met. When you see somebody like that, I guess that's what I am now. I don't know if I'll define myself that way, but I am certainly defined somehow, physically, emotionally, from this experience. And so are they. Like, you know, you don't want to talk about it too much, but they're just, they're just so fucked up over it. You know, it's like such a Freudian thing to lose your son or daughter, you know, for the mother to lose her daughter. What it, I don't know. Everybody's got a thing. For me, it's a father-son thing. I loved my son so much having a son, you know, like just being able to, to, to connect with him immediately on the phone or through a text or a joke or a picture or a video, something we were going to do. And we did a lot, you know, it was mostly within the realm of martial arts and the guitar, I think, and, and encouraging him and reading his schoolwork and, you know, like I miss every fucking minute of that. And it, and it hasn't been that long, you know? A year, it's like he could be away. 
and he is away. And he never, I'm never going to see him again. I see him in my mind right now. Thanks.